What's going on everybody? Welcome to Blind Power and today I want to more of a video informative, it's more of a warning you kind of video because if you have an iPhone um, besides any of the latest ones, the 8 plus 8 or 10, if you don't have those three that I just mentioned then you want to listen up because um, anything below 7 or 7 plus listen up. On iOS 11, Apple recently, on 11.2, Apple recently released a statement apologizing because they have slowed down the performance on the device when the battery is deteriorating. If uh, you updated to 11.2 or anything above 11.2, uh, which was released a couple weeks ago, 11.2.1, um, you could potentially have a slow phone, okay? And you might notice this with the performance of voiceover or zoom, it might be glitchy or Siri won't be uh, responding as quickly or things like that will happen, right? Voiceover will just crash on you. Well, then you want to follow the following things, okay? So if this has happened to you, um, you want to go to an Apple retailer and change your battery. Apple lowered the price from $80 to about 30, 37 with tax for a battery replacement uh, and any older iPhones with iOS 11.2 or later. This is because um, depending on the uh, quality of your battery, the software that Apple has implemented will start slowing down your phone the more the battery gets deteriorated. Um, even if you have the 7 or 7 Plus, which is a very beefy phone, you know, and it can definitely do everything day-to-day -day task if you see that it's slowing down just a tidbit I recommend replacing your battery on any of these older phones okay the ones that are especially affected are the 6 and 6s models the 7 is affected as well but like if you, you may mainly notice it on the 6 and the 6s um, and you want to go ahead and replace your battery and Apple lowered the price thankfully because well let's just say that there's been lots of lawsuits and lots of um, conflict about that. People want to make Apple known for what they're doing. People are making themselves known that they're mad. There's no way for Apple to stop them except by solving it. Apple said that in January, um, I guess early, in mid to late January, they're going to be releasing iOS 11.3, which is the next upcoming firmware, which 11.3 will essentially offer a way for people to see their health of their battery so that you can tell how your battery is doing and essentially how you know how long you have before your phone starts slowing down this is useful because if you have an old phone like a 6 or 6s and you start noticing to slow down you know you, you want to catch it before it's too late you know you, you want to catch it before you're already slowing and you're like ooh I need to go to the Apple store and that would this way when they're gonna do that you could just plan it out you could be like oh it says uh, I have one month before my phone slows down, and then that month you can plan out, oh, I have to change my battery, you know, and it, it gives you a little bit of a heads up, and what Apple's doing makes sense, it's just, why do they have to do it with so much secrecy, you know, so I just wanted to let you guys know, because, I mean, unless you, you're in the tech realm, and you listen to tech news, you really won't find it, I mean, you find it in Google and stuff, but Apple did uh, write an apology letter. I'll post that in the description. Honestly, I, I, I mean, I'm not going to say I'm not happy with them because they're doing what they're supposed to. They're trying to optimize the phones. However, you will get a battery health indication in your iPhone now, which is pretty cool. I'm definitely excited to see what that's going to mean for some of us. We're going to be able to see battery health and stuff. And honestly, it's going to help to not slow down your phone. Yeah, that's what they're gonna do. I just wanted to let you guys know so that you, so if you've been experiencing this, you know what to do. You don't have to upgrade your phone to a new phone or anything. You just have to replace your battery, which is only like thirty-seven bucks here in the U.S. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, just as I enjoyed making it. I know it sucks that Apple's doing this, but they're gonna be finding a fix to it hopefully. Um, and the fix is replacing your battery essentially. So, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for supporting my power. We're almost at 120 subs. Let's see if we can hit that 120 in the next couple days. See you in the next video. Goodbye.